With Mario Kart 7 being one of my favorite installments in the Mario Kart series, there's absolutely no question as to why I think it's a great idea to install mods like CTGP7. But how do we go about doing this? Well today, I'm going to teach you the easiest way to install CTGP7 and do it fast. There is of course the easy way by downloading the CTGP installer from the Universal Updater application on 3DS, but that method can take up to two hours because of the 3DS's slow internet speeds. So today I'm going to teach you the easiest method. All you need is a 3DS with custom firmware installed, an SD card big enough to hold CTGP7, I believe it's around 400 to 500 megabytes, a computer that can read your SD card, and that's about it. So how do we go about doing this? First, you're going to want to power off your 3DS system. Once this blue light in the corner turns off, you're going to want to take out the SD card. My SD card is boarded up with tape. If you haven't watched my 3DS nostalgia video, the reason it's boarded up with tape is because the SD card slot is actually broken. The SD card doesn't stay down. Once you have removed the SD card from your 3DS, we're going to take it out and we're going to go ahead and place it into your computer. Once your SD card is inserted into your computer, you're going to go to the CTGP7 GitHub link I left in the description. Once you're on that link, you want to scroll down until you see how do I install CTGP7. If your 3DS does not have custom firmware, you want to click on this link here. This will take you to 3ds.hacks.guide, the best place to get 3DS custom firmware guides. If you do have custom firmware, then you want to go ahead and click on the Game Banana page link. This will take you to the Game Banana link for the CTGP7 installer. Once you're on this website, you're going to scroll all the way down. You're going to scroll past all the features, or you can read them if you want. I have already read them a bunch of times. Once you're already down at the bottom, you're going to go click download on whichever your operating system is. There's one directly for the 3DS, but like I said, that takes quite a long time. There's one for Windows, which is the one I'm going to use. There's one for Ubuntu, if you have Linux. And then there's one for Python. If all of these don't work and you just straight up want the Python files, you can get this one. So I'm going to go ahead and download the Windows one. I'm using Microsoft Edge as my browser, so it's actually going to pop up in the top right corner, the download status. Should be almost completed. It's not too big, it's only 40 megabytes, and it is a zip file, which means we are going to have to extract it. Alright, now that the file is finished downloading, we're going to go ahead and open the Files app. Click on the Downloads folder. and then click on CTGP7 Windows Installer. Drag this out into your Downloads folder. The app is big, so it might take a little while to extract. 9.10 meg, okay, oh, so it's, it's frozen at the, <laughs> yes. Once you see CTG, uh, CTGP7 Installer, you're gonna go ahead and double click on that. Once the app boots up, you're gonna go ahead and select where your SD card is located. Mine is the USB drive E, even though it's an SD card slot. Just go ahead and select the root. It should tell you if this is a valid 3DS SD card slot or not. Once it's selected, you're gonna click install. Now, of course, the download might take a little while. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video here. And when it's done, I'm going to show you guys how to install it on the DS. Once the installer finishes downloading all of its necessary files, you should get something saying to remember to use the CIA in the CIA folder on your SD card. Just select OK. This should automatically close the installer. Next, you're going to want to go down to where they store your SD card and check that you have a CTGP7 folder on your SD card. If you do, great. Go ahead and eject your SD card. Just like that. Now that, we've, now that we've ejected the SD card, let's go over to the 3DS. With the SD card removed from the computer, I'm going to go ahead and place it back into its adapter. 
just like that. If you have a normal SD card and not a micro SD, you shouldn't need to do that. Then I'm going to take my DS back, place it into the slot, close it up, and like I said, mine's broken, so I'm going to go ahead and put the tape on top. After that, you want to go ahead and power on your DS like normal. You should lose right Once you're here, go ahead and scroll over to your FBI app and boot that up. Once the app is booted up, you're going to press A on SD, scroll down to CTGP, click it, scroll down to CIA, click that, then select the CIA file, then select install CIA, hit yes, and wait for FBI to do its thing. It shouldn't take too long. Once the install is finished, press B, 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 then select start. Back on the home menu, just give it a few seconds and it should say you have a new title on the home menu. Go ahead and boot that up. It should be the CTGP7 launcher and updater. If I zoom in all the way here, CTGP7 launcher and updater by the CTGP7 team. It's at this point that you want to make sure that you have Mario Kart 7 inserted into your console. If it is, go ahead and boot up the CTGP7 launcher and updater. You should get a custom loading screen. It'll check for updates, and if there is none, perfect. You now have CTGP7 installed onto your DS. Once it is, you can go ahead and select A to boot up the game. If it asks you to install Luma 3DS with plugin loader, just select A. The console will reboot. Press B and let it do its thing. There we go. Now go ahead and reboot the app. And I hit the camera again. Oh my god, I'm sorry guys. Very clumsy today. Again, still back on this menu. No new updates in the last 30 seconds. So if you now select launch CTGP7 and then select A, it'll automatically launch whichever version of Mario Kart 7 you have. If you have it backed up onto your SD card as an app and not a cartridge, this will also work. Don't worry, there's no differences between the two. Now CTGP7 might take a quick while to load on the first boot because as you can see, it has to install all the little different things into Mario Kart. Extra save data for CTGP7 will be created. Just hit OK. Select OK again and let it do its thing. Look at that! You now have installed CTGP7 onto your DS. Select A on here, A, and then select this little X in the corner. A, 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 there are a lot of menus. A one more time. There you go. Now, it currently has no save data from your original Mario Kart. I'm going to turn this down a bit. If you would like to transfer your save data, go to that CTGP website I gave you in the description and check there. There should be a guide on how to transfer your existing save data from Mario Kart 7 to CTGP 7. For now, let's go ahead and explore the menus a little bit. Press select. It'll, this will boot up the CTGP 7 plugin menu. We'll start with gameplay features. These are things like custom CCs, speedometers, backwards camera, warning items with the LED. If you're on, I believe, the regular 3DS, there should be a little, little LED in the corner. Improved item roulette. And improved tricks, which are just uh, basically the Mario Kart 8 version of doing tricks, which if you tilt the stick will let you do custom tricks. So let's go ahead and enable that. Enable worn items with LEDs. Enable the backwards camera by holding X. 
I'm going to go ahead and enable the speedometer. But I'm going to choose kilometers because I'm Canadian. And I like the double dash speedometer. I'm going to press exit. I'm going to press custom CC selector. I'm going to enable it. And I'm going to choose the value of 200 CC. Just because I really like 200 CC. It's one of my favorites. Press B. And that's it for the gameplay features folder. Next, you'll see game settings. These are things like change the round numbers in VS, because in the current Mario Kart, I believe you can select up to 32 races at a time. But in uh, Mario Kart 7, there was no option to do that. Now there is. So this will let you change the round number. Custom character manager, which I'm going to explore later. Custom carts enabled. Online track order alphabetical. Render optimizations enabled. This will only really take place if you have a new 3DS, and I don't. Server settings, it's probably best if you don't touch these. Finally, we have other options. Local statistics, which, you know, I haven't really played the game, so I don't have any. Community code generator, which will uh, generate you a code for your Mario Kart 7 communities. And reset ghost data, which explains itself. And then, of course, language options. Back into game settings, let's go over to custom character manager. Selecting on here will bring you to a custom menu that lets you change which characters are which. This requires a restart. Before we touch this, let's go in to the single player menu, select versus because I just want to, and then 150. Here we can see a bunch of custom settings that we can modify, like how many CPUs there are, um, what difficulty they are, the course order, which can be random, random custom tracks, random originals, choose, random all, horizontal order, yeah, there's a lot. How many races you want to do, which is great. All the items that you can put in. And that's about it. Let's just go ahead and click OK with the default settings. As you can see, all of the characters are exactly the same as how we left them before. On the Mario Kart 7 game banana page, there are a ton of different characters that you can use. But there are some pre-installed into CTGP7, so let's go ahead and use those. Press Select, Game Settings, and then Custom Character Manager. Let's start with Mario. His only other option is Ice Mario. I'm going to go ahead and click that. Luigi, we have Luigi, Ice Luigi, or Mr. L. I'm going to choose Mr. L. For Peach, we can use Peach or Birdo. I'm going to choose Birdo. For Yoshi, we can use Yoshi, Boshi, Purple Yoshi, and Red Yoshi. I'm going to go ahead and choose Boshi, or Boshi, I don't know how you pronounce it. For Bowser, we can use Bowser, Dry Bowser, or Midbus. I'm going to go ahead and choose Dry Bowser. Next, we have Donkey Kong, which could be Donkey Kong or Sonic. I'm going to choose Sonic because, you know what, what the heck, let's just choose all custom characters. Next is Toad, you can choose Toad, Blue Toad, or Toadette. Blue Toad was one of my favorite characters from Super Mario Bros. Wii, so I'm going to go ahead and choose him. Koopa Troopa, you can choose him or Dry Bones. I'm going to choose Dry Bones. Wario, unfortunately, does not have any custom characters. Daisy, Rob, or Rob. Well, okay, so HVC012 is actually the Famicom version of Rob, so I'm going to go ahead and choose him. Lakitu, you can choose Lakitu, Baby Luigi, or Baby Mario. I don't really like any of the baby characters in the Mario Kart series, so I'm just going to leave him Lakitu. Rosalina does not have any custom characters. Wiggler can be Wiggler or Funky Kong. Obviously, we're going to choose Funky Kong for the Mario Kart Wii nostalgia. For the Honey Queen, you can choose Honey Queen or Waluigi. Obviously, Waluigi. Metal Mario can be Metal Mario, Chain Chomp, or Gold Mario. I'm going to choose Chain Chomp. Me, you can't really change. And Shy Guy has eight different options, mostly for the different colors. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Black Shy Guy because obviously my logo has a ton of black in it. Once that's done... Just go ahead and press B, exit that, exit to the home menu. Press close. Wait for the game to close. Scroll back over to CTGP, boot it up. It'll check for updates, then just press launch CTGP7. Press A again to launch it, and wait for it to do its thing.
Booting the game usually does not take this long. The only reason it did this time was because we applied custom models again. If you try to boot it up again after this, it absolutely will not take this long and will take maximum 30 to 40 seconds. Let's go ahead and select single player, scroll on over to VS Race, 150cc, and then press OK. Ice Mario, Mr. L, Birdo, Boshi, Dry, Brow uh, Dry Bowser, Sonic, Blue Toad, Dry Bones, HVC 012, Wario because we didn't change anything, Rosalina because we didn't change anything, Chain Chomp, Black Shy Guy, Waluigi, Funky Kong, and Lockatoo. Now a lot of these characters have custom sound effects, like Rob, Sonic, Chain Chomp, Birdo, and Funky Kong. But one of my favorite custom sound effect characters has to be Waluigi. A lot of these carts are also modified, like the arcade, We've got a few new ones like the gold mantis, and I believe that's all I have unlocked for now. We have the egg one, I'm pretty sure that wasn't in the original. The silver arrow is definitely not in the original. Yeah. Then tires, you're gonna have DS monster tires, these are new since the last time I played. A few things, I'm gonna go ahead and choose the roller and the bolt buggy, because that's just my old combo. Then for glider, I believe there isn't too much new here. Yeah. So I'm gonna choose the fire swoop. Now we're on the cup select screen. You can see the custom CC I applied earlier is in action because it says 200. It still looks like there's only eight cups and with all the default tracks, but if you press R, now there's a new set of cups, the bell cup and the eight corner cup. Then there's also the cloud cup, boo cup, egg cup, spring cup, bullet cup, blooper, fireball, feather, bomb bomb, cherry, mega cup, pickaxe cup, propeller cup, pow cup, rainbow cup, and coin cup. And then it'll loop back to the beginning. So let's go ahead and choose a, tr a custom track just to demonstrate a few things. So let's do the Cherry Cup and Bingo Party. Away we go. You can see there's also custom uh, track demonstrations. They might take a bit longer to load, however. All right, here we go. See the speedometer in the bottom right? I have played my fair share of Mario Kart in the past, so I'm pretty okay at the game. Except, you know, I just fell off. Alright, let's go. This music is kind of bopping, though. Alright, am I catching up to everyone? I'm pretty close. There's someone. I like the double dash speedometer as well because every time you use a mushroom, it'll animate itself for a little bit. Like that. I'm in fifth. And I hit a banana. Back in eighth. Anyways, you get the point. So let's go ahead and quit to the menu. I'm just gonna power off the DS real quick because I can't do anything else. Well, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.